Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with another crocheting technique. I just made this up and I hurried to come and show you how I did it because I will forget, but once I have the video then I'll never forget. I am calling this a raised ruffle. Once again, like at least one other project that I did for you guys, you can see that it's worked completely on one side. The back is smooth and I'm going to be showing you how to make this raised ruffle and you can pretty much do this with any stitch you want, meaning you could make an afghan, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, and wherever you would want, you could stop and put one of these ruffled rows across or on a pillow or whatever. It doesn't have to be made exactly like this. You can space them out and you can use it with pretty much any stitch where it's easy to count the stitches. All right, I made this one like 20 stitches wide and I'm going to be doing a much smaller piece for the sake of this video. Let's just get started. I am going to be doing double crochet for the sake of this video like I did in the sample piece I just showed you, but you are free to do whatever stitch you want, and I'll talk about that as we go. You can chain any number of stitches you want. I want to work 10 stitches, so I'm going to chain 12 since I'm doing double crochet. Do go watch the video on double crochet, and there are several ways to do it, and I can't remember exactly which way I taught you, but I'm going to show you how I'm doing it in this one. So I'm going to yarn over, and I'm going to go into the second chain. And with the double crochet, you yarn over, you go in, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And I'm just going to do that all the way across, and whatever stitch you decided to do, that's the stitch you're going to do all the way across. If you want to do single crochet, you're going to do single crochet all the way. Half double crochet, you're going to do that all the way. Seed stitch, you do that all the way. Okay, this is going to be the front side of the uh, work that we're doing. So I'm going to work a ruffled row now. You you can do as many rows as you want before you put the ruffle in. Say, for instance, you're doing an afghan and you don't want a ruffle right away. Maybe you want it to be five inches up and then every five inches or whatever. You can do whatever you want. You're going to just work as much as you want. And then when it's time to do a ruffle row, for every ruffle row, no matter what stitch you decided to do, before you start the ruffle row, you're going to chain just one. That's going to be the same for every ruffle row. Every ruffle row is going to be the same as what I'm doing right now. And we're going to be working in the back loop only because we need the front loop for on our way back. For every row, you're going to do this. Single crochet in the first one. I just like that because you don't want too much ruffling going on on the edge in case you want to do a border or something around it. Then in each one, you're going to do three single crochets. So one, two, and three. And again, I have a video for single crochet also. You just go in, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So you do three in each one. Two, three, one, two, three. That's what's going to create the ruffle. Remember when you do fancy work like this, the decorative part always sticks out on this side. So this is going to be our back side. And a good way to remember, are you going in the right direction to do your raised ruffle? Your yarn end that you started with will be on the right side. Okay, I'm going to just do three in each one across. And then for the last stitch, I'm going to end with just one single crochet. So for the ruffled row, you start with one single crochet, you end with one single crochet, but for every other one, you stick three single crochets in each chain. Now, chain one, and this is the same for every ruffled row. Now I'm going to uh, be working in the back loops that we saved. 
and that's what's going to make the ruffle stick out on just one side and I'm just going to single crochet it can be a little confusing as to where it actually starts especially when you're working with double crochet but I can see that it's this guy right here so I'm going to do single crochet all the way across and if you're not sure you can you know count first count across and make sure that you know that you're in the right one so one two and there ten so that's how you create the ruffled raised raised ruffle whatever I'm going to call it the raised ruffle row now you're going to go back to doing some rows of whatever you decided to do so if you're doing single crochet at this point you're going to chain one and turn I'm doing double crochet so I'm going to chain two and turn and I'm going to work two rows of double crochet okay I'm back to where I want to put another ruffle you do want some space because the ruffles you know kind of fan out it doesn't work as good when you're very close to the edge so you may want to you know work a few rows before you put your first ruffle in so I'm going to start a ruffled row again the ruffled row is the same no matter what stitch you used so you chain one and turn you do a single crochet in the first back loop now you're going to do three single crochets in every back loop all the way across except for that last one so one two and a three all in the same hole one two and three and I'm at the end so I'm going to just chain one in my final stitch and I'm going to chain one and turn and now I'm going to work in just the back loops that we saved and I'm going to just do a single crochet in each one all the way across so now I'm going to want to be finishing so I'm going to finish with a row of double crochet and I'm going to be stopping here for now and it's just I just like it so much it's just so cute that we have that raised ruffle I haven't seen it on a large scale because I just made this up in my brain moments ago but I think an afghan would just be so cool with these little raised ruffles going across and again you can space them out it doesn't have to be this close together and the ruffles part could be worked with another color if you want to just switch to another color for that ruffle you can and then it'll be really cool and I will start doing some things where we change colors so stay tuned so again just a recap you can use any stitch you want as long as it's a stitch where you can count your chains and, and then all you need to do is whenever you want to put in a raised ruffle you just follow that step that I showed you give it a try I think you're going to absolutely love it thank you so much for watching bye